Good morning, you mates. The last time I spoke to you would have been before Christmas, wishing you a happy Christmas and a happy new year. Now, I did say to you that I'm expecting to pick up my bike on the 4th of January. Today is now the 15th of January and I still haven't picked up my bike. However, something has been dropped off around the front of the property earlier on today. Can you guess what it is? Uh -huh. <laughs> So I'm obviously in, inside the barn right now. I've already had a customer's bike dropped off today, a beautiful triple black, uh, 2018. He's just had a lot of work done to it. This guy has just had a full D4 bundle fitted to his bike. And I've also refitted his K2 for him where he's had it, his K2 fitted in the past and he hasn't been pleased with the fitting. So I've just uh, juggled a few bits about on the bike for him. So it's uh, he's happy with it. And he can also put his seat down to the lowest position now, which he couldn't do beforehand. Anyway, so as you can see, the barn is, is nowhere near. We haven't even started renovating. We've had one quote done. We've got to get another two quotes done before we can then decide who's going to be doing the job so we can get this renovation kicked off early this year. Anyway, let me walk you through the, um, back through the courtyard. I know if you've watched previous videos, you've already done this walk through the courtyard, but now I'm walking back the other way. I got woken up very early this morning. By the way, all socially distanced. Didn't, didn't even actually see the guy. Well, I, I did see him, but not properly. But as I walk around the corner, as you come around the corner and look what we've got here. There she is. It seems a shame that we're gonna respray her. But that's exactly what we're gonna do. And um, she just looks absolutely stunning with that billet pack on there. Isn't that beautiful? The billet pack on the on the front belly pan as well. Sorry, not the belly pan. Chest plate, whatever you want to call it. These lovely, lovely turn signals. All right, so let's get an idea of what this headlight looks like when you turn it on. Look at these, these are, these are just beautiful. They really have stepped up the game here, actually. These are very, very nice indicators. Right, let's, uh, let's park it in the barn. making sure I don't get any buckles and the uh, zips caught on the paintwork. Saying that, it's all being resprayed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, this billet pack is beautiful. It's, um, I can see the logo on here now. It's made by Giles. Um, is it, I think it's pronounced Giles, G-I-L-E-S or Gillies. Um, it's very, very nice. You can just see the laser etching on the back of the handles. Yeah, it feels pretty awesome. Finally, they've upgraded the DIM plug to a USB plug at the front. Really, really good, so I don't need to fit the, the modification adapter to that anymore. Very, very good. Okay, let's fire up. Right, that's it, we've got her home. It's taken a while, but um, finally she's here. Bearing in mind, I ordered this in the first week that these were released, and I'm one of the last to have it. I've seen friends, uh, customers, taking delivery of this bike 
weeks ago, before Christmas, and here I am on the 15th of January, finally taking delivery. Anyway, there we go. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start stripping this bike down, um, probably, probably gonna start this weekend or early next week, and I'll take all the panels off. All the panels are going to the paint shop. We've got some, some of my own personal graphics to go on there that uh, will obviously be an advertisement for the business. We're also gonna ceramic coat it. I haven't done a video on that, the ceramic coating, but I will be talking about ceramic coating because I am now a professionally trained ceramic coating. Believe it or not, I've done a few bikes already. And of course, we're gonna fit some Denali's on there. We're gonna go for something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna sit and look at it for quite a while and decide exactly what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna fit to this bike. So it's a little bit, bit more unique than my other bike. I'm actually parking this in the house, so it's not staying in the barn tonight. And the reason being is because I can't get insurance. So this is my little shout out to Hastings Direct. I've been insured with you for four years. I think it's five years actually. Four or five years, pay every month on time without fail. And I get a, pick up the phone of the day and said, right, I've got an, an, another GS coming in. I need a multi-bike uh, cover because I haven't got rid of my old bike yet. Um, so I need a multi-cover insurance and they won't insure me. And so I said, well, why not? And they said, sorry, we can't tell you. To which I replied, how rude. I've been doing all this business with you for the last four years and you refuse me to insure this. Uh, and your answer to it is you can't tell me why. So I don't know what's going on there. So I, I need to get the insurance sorted. So meanwhile, this is gonna actually be parked in the house because I won't be riding it for a couple of months anyway because of the work I'll be, I'll be doing to it. And so I don't need insurance cover for being on the road. And if it's in the house, it's likely to have been stolen. It's quite slim. Uh, the, the house is like Fort Knox. Cameras everywhere. I've just bought it into the, my, my own workshop bay because my customers picked his bike up now. So I've bought mine in here in position and ready to strip it down. Like most of you guys, you buy a new bike, you can't wait to get out and ride it. I can't wait to strip it down. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I'm just having to play around with all the new stuff. So the headlight, let me talk you through this. So right now the bike is in running, just like the DRL, daytime running light mode. So you have them on all the time and the same on the rear as well. Your running light is now your turn signals. And if you notice the rear, the rear, the rear light here doesn't come on at all. So your running light isn't inside here whatsoever it's actually on the indicators. Maybe that's more of a reason to get a B6 rear light. Where to get one of those from? Just so you're more visible, because although it looks really cool having your running lights on the turn signals, it's a shame it's not coming on on the main rear light. So if you want to be more visible, then maybe a rear B6 or some rear T3s or a dual B6 rear light setup would actually be quite complimentary to this bike. Right, but have a listen to this because right now the headlight is in running. Now, when I flash the, flash the lights, now, as you can see, they flash, yeah? But if I bring my microphone closer, I'm gonna put it just here. I just click it onto there. Now, listen to this. Can you hear that? Sounds like a couple in a cheap hotel room. Busy at it, doesn't it? Does that need a bit of oil or something? I don't know. Anyway, so as you can see, the whole thing moves. We already knew that, didn't we? That the, when you flash, the whole headlight is adaptive and it moves, but it makes a noise, which I wasn't expecting. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What do you think? Okay, fast forward another few days. We're now on the 27th of January. And the reason this has taken such a long time is because I'm busy supplying goods to you guys. Hello, Jess. Well, Jesse's come to see me. Now, as you can see, the, the motorbike is in the lounge and that's okay. So stop the video right now, pause it, go find your wife, bring her back here and show her this is how it's done. Bike in the lounge in front of the fireplace, Good wife making me teas and coffees all day long. Isn't she wonderful? And she's actually, she's actually behind the camera working. Hello. So this, so this is her office. <gasps> ah. <laughs> and th 
those of you who don't realise already from previous videos, we have moved house, so excuse the mess everywhere. We've still got boxes and stuff everywhere. Now, this room is pretty cool. It's actually not our main lounge. This is our bar stroke study. Uh, we've actually got a full, fully working bar. We've got the, the hatch on the side. So now we're gonna strip this down. So it's just gonna be a bike, engine in the frame, wheels off. Everything's coming off to go to the paint shop. So we're gonna get, get started on this now. So make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss the next one because the next video of this bike, it'll all be done. It'll all be unique, its own paint job, graphics. So stay tuned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, leave a comment and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe behind bars.